Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, we're going to look at the Samsung 4K monitor. And guys, this is not just a normal monitor. This is actually a smart monitor. And as you can see, it works like a normal monitor. You connect your PC, etc. But at a touch of a button, you get actually a remote with this one. Touch of a button, it converts itself to a smart TV. And it has a full full edge smart TV functionality. We have a look at it. Even voice controls are there. For example, if I press this voice command, what's the weather like? It is mostly cloudy and 29 degrees right now. So it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, it can connect to wireless displays and stuff. And I've been actually testing this one for the last couple of weeks. So let's have a closer look at the same now. So guys, uh, this is the monitor and uh, this is the 4K variant known as M7 and uh, this is a 32 inch monitor. I thought it would be too big but I got used to it after a couple of days. In fact, I'm liking this size now and right now it's acting like a traditional monitor. I'll show you the ports. In fact, it has two HDMI ports at the back, one Type-C port also and two USB ports uh, so that you can connect actually keyboards and mouse etc. In fact, as this is a smart, uh, what do you say, uh, monitor, you get a full functional remote with this one. It's a Bluetooth remote and this is a smart monitor. Hence, it connects to via Wi-Fi also, uh, both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz is supported, Bluetooth is there and again as you can see, uh, it has these smart apps and all those things that are available. So touch of a button, you can go back to your, what do you say, work stuff that is Windows or just go back to uh, this one and this is a 4K, let me just log into Windows just locked in and uh, your traditional windows works it's a 4k 60 uh, hertz monitor it's a va panel guys to be precise it's actually a sp va panel and again as i told you this is that 32 inch size we also get an m5 variant that's a 1080p variant of this one another thing that i like with this monitor is that i was working quite a bit on uh, this one and i like that uh, even when you sit near the monitor it's very near though it's a very big monitor I was not having any eye strain. Uh, in fact, it automatically adjusts the brightness quite a bit automatically. And in fact, it has a sensor uh, inside that automatically continuously adjusts the brightness and contrast. So you don't have to worry, though it's a very big monitor, it does not hurt your eyes. Now, as I've told you, uh, this is the monitor part. You can just press this remote and this moves to your smart 30, for example, your YouTube apps and all those things. If you just press, and as you can see, YouTube has loaded. Uh, it also has built-in speakers, actually. That's nice. Let's just go to my own channel. So here is my video and I'm lowering the volume. As you can see, it goes very loud. In fact, the volume level is very loud. And just notice the navigation, guys. I'm using the remote. I'm very fast to actually navigate uh, within the UI also. Again, I'll just press home and let's just switch to, let's say, Netflix. And uh, I like the interface, as you can see how quickly it's loading stuff. So that way it works like a proper, what do you say, television. In fact, uh, if I just go back, it's going to play. Let's, let me just go back. Yeah. If I press home, you can go to the settings here. And if you look at it, this looks like a traditional TV settings. In fact, that we have. And the sound quality is actually really good. Let me um, try to play a trailer and give you an idea. So let's play this trailer and I'm going to increase the volume a little bit. How's it going over there? Really and just notice the picture quality also. Got an issue. There's movement, man. The speakers can get very loud. We have 15 minutes. So again, as you can uh, see, the picture quality is good. Uh, the navigation speed is very fast. It does not feel like they have compromised on anything, as you can see, just um, moving it. And it even has a, uh, what do you say, app store. I I if I go over here, apps, uh, this is the app store where you can install uh, your apps or whatever you want. For example, I'm just going to get exit from that. So full functionality, I would say, of uh, this one, you can move the apps, you can pin it here, your whatever favorite. For example, if you go over here, you see your apps. Let's say I want to bring Geo Cinema over here. I can just go here, add to home 
and that will come here so uh, this works like a traditional samsung television i would say and the interface is good uh, regarding connectivity as i've told you it's really good one thing i really liked on this one and i was skeptical about this one uh, again uh, hdmi we have two hdmi ports as i've uh, mentioned you have remote access and this is actually really good on uh, this one but before that uh, let me actually also show you this i am actually impressed genuinely impressed let me just go to uh, uh, what do you say youtube the voice commands works very well uh, this remote uh, is supplied uh, and if you press this you can use the voice command and i'm just going to use it switch to netflix And as you can see, it works. Connect to remote access. And as you can see here, here what I like this, uh, you can remotely connect to a PC that might not be in this physical location. Uh, you can easily connect that. And I also like the fact that you can do screen sharing and stuff. For example, I'll disconnect uh, this laptop that was connected. And right now, if I go back to HDMI, uh, it's nothing is connected source. As you can see, I have disconnected. So what we'll do is, this is the laptop here. It's not connected. And I'm going to wirelessly connect it. And this works actually really well. Very easy to do if you have a, what do you say, a Windows 10 uh, a PC. You just hit the connect option. And it's going to search. It found this monitor. If I click on it, this is wireless, guys. It's just going to connect in a second connecting and now i am connected to this monitor wirelessly so this actually works very well on this one and i was also very surprised that this works very well even with the max here is an example so guys this is my macbook air i'm going to wirelessly connect this one now uh, so i just selected it basically uses airplay 2 and as you can see now this is connected and uh, yeah here i have i can control my stuff do it and this i'm doing completely wireless so i, I was very happy genuinely how well uh, this remote connectivity functionality work even you can use your smartphones to actually uh, connect uh, so guys i've disconnected so you go back to this one and uh, again you have your apps over here so you can use it like a traditional television and i like how fluid the operation is uh, i thought it will be janky or something but again uh, the performance as you can see is actually really good and in fact the speakers are also very loud some ad is coming the speakers are also very loud on this one so generally i feel this is a two in one uh, device and even the smart functionality works very well uh, in fact uh, uh, in, in remote access uh, if i go here uh, you can even connect uh, using samsung dex and even you can access office 365 as i've told you uh, we also have usb port so you can connect a keyboard and a mouse to this one and even without a pc connected you can use it for example uh, it's connected to my office 365 account and uh, it's gonna connect over wi-fi and as you can see i can access all my documents and go over here i'll just get out of this one so you have this office 365 built in i'm just going to exit so this kind of functionality is there and even samsung dex is built into this one let me give you an idea uh, let me just connect uh, to samsung dex i have the fold and i'm going to just use samsung dex and i can mirror this one my smartphone and it's just going to yeah it detected this monitor and i'm just going to hit start and as you can see now my entire smartphone interface is over here and we can actually use this smartphone to actually control uh, this one and i can just click here uh, as my mouse is not connected and now this my as you can see the mouse is moving this uh, phone acts as a mouse pointer and you can access entire things what is there on uh, your phone in this sort of a interface uh, so basically your smartphone is powering this is the dex functionality that we have i'm just going to exit out of this and go back to the uh, monitor 
So guys, uh, this was the Samsung Smart Monitor. This is the N7 model. Uh, that's a 4K variant that comes with 32 inches. There's also one more variant. That's the M5. That's a 1080p variant. What I'll do is I'll leave the links in the description below. And I feel this is a very unique product and ideal for current situations like work from home where uh, we are forced to work. But uh, after we have finished work, it'll be great if that device converts to entertainment device. And this is actually does that. So this is a very unique monitor. In fact, I actually liked it. And many of the advanced functionality that it promises actually work on this one. So that way I like this product. And this is a review unit. And I don't say this often, but I might be uh, purchasing this one for myself because of that functionality what it offers. So, but anyways, what do you guys think about this one? Do let me know in the comment section below. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And if you guys are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys.